Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Andrew here from MAO Magic. Today we're going to take a look at the new Hue 2.0 application here to replace the much lauded original version that launched many years ago. The first big improvement that has been changed since the last iteration is it's a lot less confusing. When you are in the app, you get to choose rooms instead of these kind of arbitrary scenes. You can import from HomeKit if that's something you already have configured, or you can start to create them from scratch. So that's how you normally would have things set up. I have my bedroom lights, my living room lights, my kitchen lights, and now it makes it really easy just to turn each of those rooms on and off. You can also adjust the room brightness as a whole, which is one of my favorite features. Adjusting the individual lights is also really easily. Simply go into a room and you have all the lights. You can hold on the actual light bulb icon and just start dragging around the screen. You can choose all of the colors if you have a you know full color hue bulb, the whites option down the center, and then some special ones that hue has kind of set up for you, like a light that's supposed to help you feel more energized and another one that's supposed to help you more concentrate. I really like how easy this is because I can just jump in the app, drag around an icon, choose a color, and it just takes a couple seconds compared to on the last application. They really took a little bit of digging and swiping and sliding really to get what I was looking for. Scenes are still here using any image from Hue or any that you've chosen from your camera roll as well. Another new addition is the Routines tab. Now before you could set it up so it would automatically turn on and off your lights as you would arrive and leave, and that's the same. So I can choose when I get home or when I leave, you know, turn the lights on or off. You can choose specific rooms, which is really handy because that's really what I want. I want my living room lights to turn on when I get home, and you can even opt to have it happen after sundown. So only after sundown would the lights actually turn on. What really helps though is if you're going to be using these kind of location aware ones is if you actually allow Hue to monitor your location and whenever you do arrive that's kind of what makes that work. So if you don't have location aware turned on it's really not going to work as well. We also have wake up which is similar to a lot of things we've already seen from third party applications but just the idea is you know when you want to wake up so Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. I want a 30 minute fade in my bedroom of the lights to slowly turn on into like a warm color to really help me get up in the morning and you can do similar ones for kind of when you're going to bed. You can also set your own routine so if you don't have any of those few that Hue has already set up for you you can create your own at certain times in other words that's just a schedule so you can just schedule your lights however you would like. Hue has also made some improvements to the widgets. So we can actually customize our widgets more now. So I can choose the icon that I'm looking for. There's a ton of different ones. So if I have a certain movie mode that I like to turn on quite often, or a dinner mode where I want to dim the lights a little bit, or any of those scenes, I can choose an icon so I don't know what that scene is actually going to do. Then I can choose the rooms that I want to activate. So if I want to turn on my living room, kitchen, and bedroom simply with this first widget. So I guess that would be all my lights here. So I can just say, you know, home lights, create that one widget with that home icon, and then just add that to notification center. I can tap it and it'll turn that on. So if we get into notification center, you obviously swipe down from the top. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom and hit edit. Then we're going to go down and find the hue, the hue widget down here, and I'm going to hit the plus button. I'm going to actually drag that to the top of my list so we can more easily see it. But we will have our new kind of widget here. I can just tap that button and get directly to my home lights and turn those on and off without having to actually go into the app itself. The app is absolutely free, so you can go ahead and abandon the old Hue app and jump ship to this new one. We will put a link down in the description as we always do. And please let us know if you have any questions down in the comments below as well. Please check out all of our other videos on Hue and other HomeKit accessories. And until next time, this is Andrew for NAO Magic.